to each and every one blessed love of course you know we definitely give thanks to the life giver and the keeper of life and for highly Selassie the first the honorable priest isaac here with you you are in the tiger's nest i'm just reminding you of course of the shock of the hour this is our recorded and broadcasted radio program that you get every monday tuesday wednesday and thursday and of course for the shock of the hour tonight we'll be going into so many different things we'll be going into the depths of some serious african history and one of the things that we will be highlighting this evening is the la bomba bone the la bomba bone found or so-called discovered in south africa i'm just going to read some information on the la bomba bone if you've never heard of it and Tell me what you think of this. Now, the Labamba bone is a baboon's fibula with incised markings discovered in the Labamba mountains located between South Africa and Swaziland. The bone is between 44,200 and 43,000 years old, according to 24 Radio Carbon. This is far older than the Aishango bone, with which it is sometimes confused. That's the bone uh, from the Congo. According to, listen to this, according to the Universal Book of Mathematics, the Labamba bone's 25 notches suggest, and uh, I quote, it may have been used as a lunar phase counter, in which case African women may have been the first mathematicians because keeping track of the menstrual cycles requires a lunar calendar. And that's the end of the quote. That quote coming out of the Universal Book of Mathematics. And we're speaking of 43 or between 44 and 43,000 years ago. We already see the first signs of a civilization because we may talk about civilization and we, we, we really don't comprehend that when you're dealing with civilization, you're dealing with a script, a written script. You're dealing with a language. You're dealing with mathematics, geometry. You're dealing with algebra, even if this or these were not the terms given to the science, but we were dealing with the science, astronomy, you know, the cosmos. And when it comes to a civilization, you need to have all of these principles in check. So here we have in Southern Africa, here we have tens of thousands of years ago, we have the signs, the first known signs of a a, a civilization, a high civilization dealing directly with mathematics. And this can be seen on the fibula of the baboon, which is called the Labamba bone. But now when you move more up in time or more into the future as such, you come across what is known now, we're talking about in the ancient science of Africa. We're talking about in what is known as Kemet. We have the, the, the high point of civilization, really, architecture. Even what I just mentioned, as far as the writing of the science, the science of writing, the science of a script, at the same time, the science of a language. I'm talking of, of course, the Meduneta. And we're speaking of 6,000, 8,000 years ago, you know, 6,000 BC. Some people may want to date it from 4,000 BC. But the point is that we are dealing with a civilization in Kemet that was definitely, you know, even the Meduneta, we're talking about the classic language of humanity. That is the Meduneta. And even before Kemet, prior to Kemet, we have evidence again to show from Kush, from, from the kingdom of Yam, from Tar Seti, and all of this, all of these kingdoms are in the southern the southern region, at least south of Kemet, the, the whole aspect of the evolution of civilization began from there in the south, coming into the north, coming into modern day Egypt. So, and the evolution really again came to its climax in Kemet. Now, what I'm saying here, let's meditate on this now, that in Kemet, 
where civilization began or civilization again climax because the civilization we're speaking of it did begin in africa because this is africa eh? we're not separating egypt from ethiopian sudan like how they boxed off today because even the bible in the book of nahum chapter 3 verse 10 clearly shows you that all of africa was one kingdom one nation that's in the book of nahum you know we've touched upon that several times but what i'm showing you here now is that as it relates to the science of mathematics who is the deity who is the netter that who is the principle there that we consider to be the father of writing the father of mathematics the god of wisdom it is jehuti or some would say tahuti some refer to him as thought you know and and the corruption of hermes but it's thought tehuti jehuti and this is the individual that you see with the head of an ibis bird this is the individual that you see with his pen in his hand and his pad and he's writing you know the the science of creation that's really what's happening there he's also seen not only as an ibis bird he's also seen as a baboon so tahuti or jehuti or thought is considered to be the father of mathematics and this same thought tahuti seen as the the wise ibis bird and also seen as the baboon now that is quite interesting isn't it look at this good look at this good the father of mathematics is seen as a baboon and yet still in our study as far back as science can carry us again 24 uh, radiocarbon dating has showed us 44,000 years ago we have the first sign uh, or first signs of mathematics a civilization we're talking about eh? the first signs of mathematics or or, or, or calendar lunar a lunar calendar counting the cycle of the menstruation of the african woman according to the journal here the universal book of mathematics speaking directly on the leboma bone how mystic it is that it is etched on the bone of a baboon the fibula of a baboon 44 thousand years ago but now closer to home about four five or six thousand years bc we have in the heights of the classic civilization of kemet we have representing the father of mathematics a baboon so it's obvious that there is some spiritual and cultural link from 44,000 years ago to 4,000 years ago uh, with the, the connection of that science of the baboon and mathematics, even from that time evolving into its climax in Kemet. So as I said, even on the shock of the hour, we're going to be touching that and going into many different things. Of course, I always show you if you are not a member of the shock of the hour subscription team, all you have to do is to contact us via email p-r-i-e-s-t-i-s-a-a-c 27 at g-m-a-i-l dot c-o-m priest isa 27 at gmail.com and all you have to do is let me know my brother i want to be a part of the subscription team and i'll give you the information how you can become a monthly subscri subscriber pardon me you could get a six month subscription you will obviously save when you do the six months package and you even save more when you do the yearly package and i mean from my from where i'm sitting very inexpensive i'm telling you for exactly what is coming towards you information and inspiration so do give thanks continually again for the life given the keep of life and those who are in the position to join us join us and those who are subscribers well trust me by tomorrow you will be getting this episode that we'll be doing this evening on the history of Africa. Going deep, eh? On the shock of the hour. Do give thanks. King Selassie. Ja. Rasta.